no matter how committed you are, there are going to be times when you lose the the super high motivated state that you maybe will start in and the excitement about what you're doing uh, tends to fade a little bit and you have to find other ways to motivate yourself and you have to rediscover the passion for the struggle and rediscover the excitement that comes with working really hard for something and I, I'm going through that a little bit right now um, I put so much work, effort, and stress into getting all of this stuff set up so that I could use it that it sort of took a priority over my training and there's just been a lot of other things in my life right now that have really kind of crept in. Uh, it, it was it was no real big action or thing, any one thing that came in and kind of took my focus away, but it was just the presence of all these other factors and things and this session was kind of done with the with the intention of of getting back to what I do this for and getting back to the reasons that I do it the way that I do and finding the excitement again in struggling and just putting in work without it having any kind of immediate um, payoff you know just I told myself no PRs today I'm not going for anything that that I could that I wouldn't be able to do on a normal day. I just want to put in the extra work right now, and and grind through. And that's sort of what it came down to. I did my first set of my pause squats uh, without a belt, and I tried to focus on bringing my depth uh, to consistently good enough each time. And I don't know. I just I I found a little bit of that passion again in this session just putting in that that work on a less flashy level and and really just going back to my roots and that may seem a little weird uh, some people have have seen you know, it's 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 a draw and it's really easy to get excited and try to always hit the absolute best that you're capable of uh, as far as an overall goal and and put together big top sets and you know, put that on YouTube. That's what you want to share with everyone is what your absolute best is. And I think that I need to make sure I don't lose uh, what has gotten me to the point of success that I've gotten to, which is putting in the work that no one else really wants to do, doing the mobility work, focusing on getting enough rest and taking some of the fun away. And I think that is what I'm trying to keep in mind and my focus is on right now. After those uh, Spoda presses, I did um, these sets of conventional pulls. I had to open the garage door uh, just because it was getting so hot in there, and then the wind was absolutely insane, so I have no idea what that effect is going to have on the sound quality in this video. I may have to mute the background noise, but uh, this is 405 for four sets of eight. None of the reps were difficult. Um, the point of this, though, was to work on some conditioning, and so I was making sure that I was moving pretty quick through all this. The whole workout, again, they, I just work out so much faster in this environment. There are so many distractions that I didn't even realize were really distractions at uh, the rec center, and it's so much easier to get in with a purpose and do what you need to here and, and not have extra stuff or things that are taking you away from what your goals are. So... Um, got a nice little glute pump and uh, my hamstrings were nice and toasty by the end of this and uh, yeah overall the workout itself it was exciting to do something without any pressure of putting on a crazy awesome uh, high top set performance and I don't know what that'll mean I think for the channel I still want to put up great content for you guys but it does have to uh, the performance and the the growth that I need to go through with my, my personal strength journey needs to be the primary and I want to share that with you guys to the best of my ability but if I stop making progress and I lose focus on what I need to focus on there then it's not going to be a very effective channel or very helpful for you. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be back at it tomorrow I believe. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.